Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge, the hardest working man in comics. Ryan Seymour King of Comic Town in Columbus, Ohio. Oh my god, I hope you guys enjoyed our extra content that we right? produced this week because, oh, it was so good. I'm you still a little You don't see flush. stuff like that. You don't. Like, you can own a don't. print of the Mona Lisa. Sure, sure. And but, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. And you're like, hey, look, I look at that. Original comic art is the Mona Lisa. It is the Mona it's Lisa. It's it. Literally. Everything and that's the reproduction. Oh the thing that makes it so crazy is the idea of there are new Mona Lisas printed mm -hmm. by the dozens. Yeah. Or not printed, but created by the dozens every month. Yeah. Every month. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, so, so good. Um, okay. So we're back. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got some good reads that should read. Mm -hmm. um, what I like. Okay. So for my picks here yeah. for honorable mentions, 12 bucks is about yeah. what you're looking at. For Mine's that 13. So. Not bad, not bad. Um, okay, so if you got an extra twelve or thirteen dollars, we'll say fifteen with tax. Mm -hmm. um, these are some books that we think you should add to your pull list because it will add to your reading experience. I want yeah. you to go because you have the perfect aftermath of some Halloweeny goodness. Yeah, what you got, man? Hell, God, I don't know. That's a tough one to start with. I didn't realize the night of the ghoul was out there. I missed it. Yeah, I failed. Eh, yeah, I'll start with that. Since okay, okay, it's it's out there. Yeah, night of the ghoul number two, uh, Dark Horse Comics. It, it's it, the, the lineup of creators on this is ridiculous. Genius. You got Scott Snyder writing, yeah. uh, art and colors by Francesco Francavella, mm -hmm. uh, and letters by And World Design. Dark Horse did this creative team dirty. What? Because the first issue didn't have returnability, which is a okay. luxury. Like okay. you know, comics, comic shops love it. Sure. Um, but it would have freed us up to know to order big because a lot of other other books will have like if you, you know, order ten or yeah. more copies, you get returnability. The second issue was final order cutoff, so we had to finalize orders for number two before number one even shipped. Come on, man. It's so, always hard. Yeah, so this, I mean, that's like you're telling this creative team like you're capped. Like, yeah. this, you're only going to sell so many books, which sucks because this is one of the best horror books out there. Oh, my God. Uh, it, like, Scott also did Witches, which... Yeah, 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 and, bad and feelings. Did, and he did Severed. Yeah. And so this is the story about a father and a son. The son isn't necessarily wanting to go along on this trip. But tracking down this filmmaker who made the, the most epic horror film ever and it was destroyed in a fire and finding out that no, it was actually more of a documentary. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. these monsters do exist. Creepy. And they're here. And it's it's just this amazing, amazing story of like old school horror vibe. It just keeps building. Uh, this gives us a little bit more pat into the past of what, what happened with okay. that movie. And it's just, it's gorgeous. Like the art is just... One of the things that I loved about the first issue, and again, I'm lamenting not reading this one, mm -hmm. is the chapter breaks. Yeah. That's such a cool, smart way of containing story mm -hmm. and building tension. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah, because you hit that, that chapter break, and you're like, what's next? What Where, which this? direction Where are, we, are we going? And it is just, the art's breathtaking. I, I think I dated her in junior oh, high. Oh. Um, it's the tongue. <laughs> it is. It, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, just it's it's Scott Snyder when Scott Snyder is able to focus on oh, I love it. on it. It's just it's amazing. It's good. So it's if good you stuff. can track down number one, and it. I, I recommend it. If you can't, they're going to trade paperback it. Of so, course, of course. Yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, I picked mine from Dark Horse as well. Quick stops. This is the fill in stories mm -hmm. um, that fill in the gaps for the VSQ verse. Um, if you're a fan of Kevin Smith like I am. Um, it's kind of crazy. Uh, and it goes from the annals of the Esk universe. And it's kind of funny because, like, when you say the View Esk universe, there's some people that are like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Before the MCU, okay? <laughs> that's, that's right, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. this was a, a movie universe that had interconnected stories um, from seemingly disparate, like, movies, yeah. right? So, Clerks, Chasing Amy, Mallrats, Dogma... All of them all fit within this universe uh, created by one Kevin Smith, um, who will be in town uh, for GalaxyCon. Really? Yes, I believe him and the entire Clerks crew will be here for GalaxyCon. Oh, that's crazy. First week in December, come through, get your tickets. They're available right now. Um, so yeah, it's good stuff. But this one is focusing on the uh, origin story mm -hmm. of... Blunt Man and Chronic. Like, where did they come from? <laughs> um, and it's so, it's, this is such a meta piece. So, this is written by Kevin Smith, which makes it that much more authentic. Yeah. Uh, art by Jeremy Simers, Simser? Simsers. Uh, letters by Andrew Thomas. So, the thing that I adore about this is that it's taking place during 
um, a panel that's happening during Chronic Con, mm -hmm. which was the Comic Con's parody piece that was featured in Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Yeah. So to use like meta textual circumstances to go back and fill in the universe is absolutely brilliant. Um, we find out where Jay got the uh, quick times or quick stop smock from. Um, we get like all this. Yeah. There's oh, the references. So. If you're a fan of Jane Silent Bob, as you should be, um, this character oh makes her grand return. But you see oh my the gosh. reference, and that yeah, this okay. So let me tell you the reason why you need to have this. There are some of you that only know Kevin Smith as like a podcaster or as a you know semi comedian host of some things. This dude is a comics fan. Yeah, like. Arguably, I would say probably the most famous comic fan yeah. um, because he's a comic fan that became famous by being a comics fan. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, that's what he does. It's one of us. Yes, like hardcore. And this harkens back to those roots where he goes, Nah, I'm one of y'all. <laughs> like, I am a nerd through and through. Yeah. The geek runs strong in me. This is what I love, and it's fantastic. So, highly recommend Quick Stops because it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Freaking love it. All right, I'm going to go with... You're still in the darkness. It, it doesn't matter I'm, what that, you that's, choose. That's the last one. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, God. IDW, Earth Divers number two. Kill Columbus is the subtitle. Oh, yes. So this story... It, it, all right, so we got uh, Stephen Graham Jones writing, uh, art by David uh, Jim Felice. Uh, colorist is Jonah LaFuente, and letterer is Steve Wands. And a group of indigenous people to North America mm -hmm. have figured out a way to time travel. And basically, you know, they've run a bunch of numbers, you know, done a, did a bunch of different stuff, and it figured out that the reason that the Earth is an ecological collapse mm -hmm. can all be tied back to Christopher Columbus getting close to, to North America. Mm. Mm. So they go to stop him, send someone back, an agent of chaos mm -hmm. to stop mm -hmm. Columbus, mm -hmm. and it is how he's trying to do it. Is he effective? Is he not? And what repercussions are to the timeline? Oh my god, I love it! Yeah, so it's just this, it's this really, really cool story of like, I don't know, like time cop. I love it. <laughs> you read the first issue mm -hmm. of it, and one of the things that I I love that you took away was they had to be cognizant of language use and yeah. things that yeah the hairstyle couldn't yeah like he couldn't say because it wasn't. It hadn't happened it yet. Hadn't happened the, yet. Yeah. yeah, like and like, oh. he gets into a little bit of trouble using a particular dialect. Ooh. So yeah, and there's oh yeah, history begins to protect itself. I won't say anything beyond that. That's such oh my god, what a tagline! It, history yeah. protects itself. Yeah. So it's really really cool. I recommend it. Um, it's been optioned, I think. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, hit your local shop. It's in the, like number ones I, I heard were on eBay for like five, ten bucks or whatever. Just hit your local shop. They probably have some. It, we all knew it was going to be optioned yeah, already. So yeah, that's awesome. Really good stuff. All right, so my next one is Hulk number ten. Um, this one again is this crazy barrage of art and story. Uh, Donny Cates, Ryan Otley, uh, Cliff Rathburn on inks, uh, Sonia Obak and Marty Garcia on colors, uh, VCs uh, Corey Petit on on letters. Um, you guys are nuts. Okay, so first of all, this starts off with this very heartwarming concept of strength and confidence building for a young Bruce Banner. Um, this is a concept that I had only been aware of like the last couple of years mm -hmm. as a as a like real idea. Um, and it doesn't like spoil anything, but okay, so you realize and then when it was first presented to me, it was like this diss, like you're such mm -hmm. a jerk type thing yeah. so light from the sun takes eight minutes to get to earth yeah right to travel the 93 million mile distance to get to our planet yeah you are such a jerk by being in the way and casting a shadow because it it's 93 million mile yeah. journey stops on you like you are such a jerk because it, this thing is celestial and because of you yeah it's, <laughs> it, it it's ends. done this reframes that in one of the most poignant perfect powerful things this is now my morning mantra like i'm doing this and i'm it's it's so beautiful yeah. um but we are like what we're seeing here and this is i think the best part of this is that donnie's series is becoming self-referential hmm. so it's referring to things that are um 
happening within its run. So you don't have to go back super far, but we're seeing the immediate consequences of earlier pieces. So like yeah. they mentioned issue six and some stuff that happens in that. And that's part of the, uh, I think the banner uh, Thor fight and all that stuff. So like there's all these different things that they are simply referencing unto itself that makes it easier to just kind of follow around. Yeah. And, and it's, it's dope. Very cool. Like super smart. You're not getting lost in a bunch of stuff. You are literally just kind of staying in this space and kind of evolving its story unto itself. And I'm like, that's cool. That's super cool. Let these guys stay on for a while and let them keep doing that because I'm all for it. Very gorgeous nice. work. Cool. Gorgeous, gorgeous work. For me, this one almost made the, the, the top cut. Okay. Aftershock Comics. Yeah. Number four, Astronaut Down. Okay. So if you haven't been reading it, something really, like some kind of event is causing the earth to to die there's right. it was called with the green, the green wall, yeah and just, it's just think of annihilation except you can't survive in that area right and so these people these scientists which are people um they sometimes it, yeah figure out that there are multiple dimensions multiple right. realities and so they're trying to get these astronauts from their reality into another reality mm -hmm. to find out how to how to get around it. Mm. We see, oh, this is so, this is such a, a Ryan thing. Because there's multiple realities, and there are other realities where there are other scientists trying to oh, send their astronauts. No, yeah. What happens if you end up in the wrong place? What? Yeah, and not if this thing is an infinite number of universes. Yeah. There's an infinite number of, of universes in which this this thing is happening. Yeah. Like that start. What if you're able to save a universe but not yours? But not yours. <gasps> how do you feel? Like how do, like yeah, so they start touching in on that That's... and the various backup fail safes that okay. some of the astronauts have to reconnect with their universe will say. And you're okay. You end up in another universe mm -hmm. as Vic. Okay. Everybody that you know has a version, right? Are they the? Ver they're not the version you know. That's not the version I know. So how do I interact with them? With my memories or what their actual reality is? Right. Yeah. So all of that is is being. T oh, I apologize. I, 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 I. James Patrick, the writer, uh, Rubin, the artist, uh, Valentina Briscoe uh, as the colorist, Carlos M. Mangal as the letterer. You guys are killing it mm -hmm. this is high-end sci-fi at its finest love it and yeah like you're yes my name is ryan in every universe <laughs> but am i Ryan? But are you ryan in every universe right mm, that's a good one yeah that's so a good really, one really cool i like okay so my last pick also could have ended up over here on the must reads uh avengers forever this one's issue 10 uh we've got jason aaron we've got jim tao and Guru Effects uh, for the creative team, VCs, Corey Petit. He was busy this month um, on letters. This one, okay, I feel like we're building up to the end. Mm -hmm. And this one was a very quiet, emotional sort of piece yeah. here. Um, where in this celestial game of gaining um, new Avengers because they found all these different ones that they need. Um, they've got the Star Panther. They've got Thor, God of Fist. They've got the Howling Commandos and all Steve Rogers' army, if you will. And then, of course, the Carol Corps. Um, what do they need now? They need a Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. what's interesting is you would think, like, well, you have you a Tony one. Stark. Yeah. But do they? Like, he's Tony Stark the Ant-Man. That's not typically what we know Tony Stark yeah. as. And this becomes this very sweet, sentimental ex exploration, really, of what makes Tony Stark so important to the Avengers mythos. Hmm. And it's a sweet little kind of trip through things, kind of get to a certain place where the end result, you go, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um it's kind. It's very kind. Mm -hmm. Nothing like major happens, nothing where you're like, oh my god, I can't believe it. But very sweet. Yeah. So if you need something to lift your spirits, that's a good one. Yeah. And Aaron and Marvel and Avengers are building up to something. Yes, there they is are. something yes, they are. on the horizon that yeah. I think is getting I'm trying to remember if it was in the order pack. The newest order pack. There's something. You have to tell me about it. Yeah. I want to know. All right. Um, okay, so those are good reads that you should read. If you've got an extra 15 bucks to add to your pull list, these are the yes. things we highly recommend. It's really um, I mean, if you have 
technically, I guess you could say like 30 bucks. 30 bucks, you get pretty close. But you get all these, so extras. Um, okay, now for the must reads, we yes. have all three the same. Yes. So um, you're looking at a solid 14 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, where do you want to start? Hmm. I'm just going to start with this one because a lot of times. Let's go. Sometimes people will, will think yeah. that they are, are, are cross-discipline proficient. Right. But not everybody can write and draw. Also true. Also true. Let's talk about it. Um, Batman and the Joker, the deadly duo. Um, story and art by Mark Silvestri. Uh, colors by Arif Pri Prianto. I think that's how you yeah. said that. Uh, letters Troy uh, Petiri. So, Okay. Here's the thing, and it's special thanks to Matt Hawkins and Bridget Silvestri, and I think that's important to note. Um, Mark Silvestri, one of the Image founders, one of the mm -hmm. Image Seven, uh, founded uh, Top Cow, yep. and Top Cow has been run by Matt Hawkins for a little while now. And so, big love and shout outs to um, that sort of vibe right there. Um, what I find so very interesting are the hands at play with um, the Image guys involvement at dc mm -hmm. so jim yeah. lee also one of the image founders yeah. is publisher um todd mcfarlane yeah has come back to do toys and is doing artwork for the upcoming spawn batman crossover yeah um and now you've got mark so this is kind of one of those things okay so if you are not a huge fan of the 90s which you should be shame on you if you're not um what what all has come from top cow we've got cyber force yeah we've got witchblade mm -hmm. we've got the darkness yep. um these were i would say that arguably their top three mm -hmm. pieces yeah clearly um but mark cut his teeth doing like the x-men in the 80s yeah like we're talking outback era outcast x-men this is him yeah and you forget, man, like this dude, he will break a pencil. Yeah. He puts in that work. And this is textured. It's gritty. The story is clever. Because um, yeah. it's action. There's a ton yeah. of action. Yeah. But there's also Bruce Wayne being a detective. Very much so. You so. have both, the th both sides of Batman in play and interacting with the Joker. Yeah. And Mark. It's oh the Joker. God. Like this, th that interaction was classic Joker. It was. It was. Um, his Batman, dare I say it, is funny, and that's a story beat. Like, yeah. but he's he's. It's not like funny, haha. -ha. He's he's a d hole, but it works. <laughs> yeah, it works. Like this move, that was messed that up. That was messed up. That was that messed was, up. That was kind of messed up. That was super messed Although, up. I was like, I mean, deserved, right? But, I didn't think he would do that. Yeah. Like I, I turned the page like, oh, ew. But all right. Yeah. All right. Fair. Fair. Um, yeah. Like, there's something. I don't know if I've ever seen Mark Silvestri do Batman before. No, I don't recall. It, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Batcave is amazing. Like, yes. The, every, every place that you would expect to hit at the beginning of a story to, like, really pull you into Gotham, we're ex experiencing that. And just the the worn, life worn, battle scarred look of the of the, of the Gotham City Police. Yes. Um, the just the wings, like the cape. Absolutely like, amazing. It's, uh, it's amazing. Beautiful, and the story is seemingly simple, but I don't think it, it is. No, there's no. going to be some major wrinkles, like like who kidnapped that person. And why are they this way? Like, who who is doing this? Right. Like, there's so oh, it's so it's crazy. Yeah, and it's it, the the crimes that are committed that begin the story. Yeah, are really grisly. Like, very. Like, very. even by my standards, I man, you know what? I have to admit, like, there's a tone with the dialogue and and captions that is old Frank Miller, mm -hmm. like at his height. Yeah, and I'm for it. Like. I'm almost curious in terms of juxtaposition, like how old was Frank when he did Dark Knight Returns versus how old is Mark now doing this? I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah. Like, not, I, I have no idea how close in age they are, but like, there's, there is a tone that he is getting where I'm like, dude, yeah. Like, yeah. if I was an older teenager reading this, 
posters all mm -hmm. over the yeah. house. And that's another thing. There, there's a couple panels that are super poster worthy, but DC doesn't do posters at a local comic shop level. Why? Like, Come give, on. give me that. Give yes! me that. Yes! Oh as my a God! Like immediately, immediately. This I would take as a poster. Right? Yeah. God, I want to. I because there's there's some afoot. That's definitely a poster. Yeah. Because you got to think what what is going to bring Joker and Batman together as a team. As a team. Yeah. Okay? Like crazy talk. And that's the that's the level of crazy that's about to happen in Gotham. <sighs> man. That was good. That was good. Yeah. That's good stuff, man. Yeah. Um Mark, take a bow, because that's that's fantastic. I think this is the proper time to remind people who you are. Mm -hmm. Um not that anyone should have forgotten, but Yes, the comics pool has gotten a little crowded, and it's time for the Giants, and he is tall. Like, he is a very tall <laughs> oh, man. Oh, really? It's, yeah. It's time for the Giants to stand up and say, uh, <laughs> children, you're here because we said so. Because we we allowed it. Okay? That's dope. That is dope. Um, I don't know. Um, well, do you want to end on a... I don't know. It's not yeah, there's a lighter note. Yeah, there's not. Say, there's no there's lighter note. No, no. There is not a lighter <laughs> note. Ugh. Which is your book of the week? Let me ask that. Uh, uh, God, it's tough, but probably. Okay, okay. Then we can, yeah, because that was mine. Um, oh, Behold Behemoth from Boom Studios. Um, Tate Brombile, Nick Robles. What? What? It is. I. So. As a number one, mm -hmm. there's a lot of legwork, right, that has to come through. Um, you're, you're introducing plot, you're building mm -hmm. characterization, um, setting the stage. And I've never been initially introduced to a concept, right? Yeah. And then taking taken through such a brutal, emotional like introduction yeah and then the story starts like what the crap mm -hmm. like i'm in this place i'm like oh okay I did, wait that's not even what we're supposed to be reading yet right yeah um okay and maybe coming off of last week's entries i'm feeling a little sensitive um because it has a sort of end times vibe to it, it definitely has an end times vibe to it um uh, nick is a master illustrator because this book has life yeah um in the way it bounces oh. back and forth between two potential realities right and the, the color palette the the style like Gorgeous. even the style of, of the art is Gorgeous. subtly different it is beautiful it is beautiful um oh my god all right so yeah. it's this okay it's this dude who i like he's a guy yeah right he grew up in the system um he's He's in mourning, yeah, because his brother, who also was in the system, has recently passed. But there's there's more to it, yeah. And ooh, yeah, no, is there more to it? Yeah, no single person in the system has the full story. Mm -mm. And then you mix in potential mental health issues, right? Which you then you go like, oh, but then there's something dark, yeah. Super dark, yeah. end of the world dark, yeah. even and like references, the very cleverly splashed in there. Yes, like, like you catch a little narration from a television show, and then you're like, oh, oh, what's oh, going on with mm, that? Mm, and it's kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing. Oh, uh, because like okay, like this moment right here, mm -hmm. I was like, it's not him anymore. Right, like, I I was so certain. Like this is an exact. Like it's not him. Yeah, like, there's. I don't want to say possession, but he's turned off. Like, whatever yeah. the nice guy thing is that he's supposed to be, that's not what's there yeah. right now. Not at all. Um, this book yeah. lives. Yeah. This is awesome. And that plot twist at the end oh, was so well executed. I had no idea that that's where we were going with this. I love the be the last two pages. Brilliant. Because you, Absolutely you never, brilliant. it's always reserved for something else. Yeah. No, it's, it's this super trippy, super dark. Um, Cronenbergian. Oh my god! Like kind of end times. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's a complex book. It's 
there's a lot going on. It is it's rated teen plus, and that is 100 percent correct. Fair game. Yeah, but yeah, I I'm here for this one. So behold, behemoth. Yeah, issue two. Yes, please. Give it, give it. I'm all for it. <clears throat> okay. Your book of the week. If you have five bucks mm -hmm. going into the comic shop, this is what you need to be walking out with. Dark Knights of Steel, 8 of 12, limited series. Tom Taylor, he's back, y'all, doing his thing. Uh, Tom Taylor, Yasmin Petrie, um, Putri? Putri? Putri. Putri? Putri? I don't know. Please educate us because we want to know. Um, on art, color by Arif uh, Prianto, uh, letters by Wes Abbott. Um, okay. We're eight issues in, so we we have a solid feel for this world. Um, the upheaval that's happened. First of all, no, let me. Now that James Gunn mm -hmm. is the head of DC, mm -hmm. I need the Tom Taylor verse of movies, animated, animated movies. I don't yeah. want live action. I want animated. Yeah. Give me deceased. Mm -hmm. Give me Dark Knights of Steel as animated series. Yeah. With a feature length ending, please. Yeah. If that's not too much. Marvel gave us what if. Y'all give us Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor. Like that's that's the what if that we need from DC. Yeah. Um, okay, so in this world, <sighs> Superman is sent to Earth from a dying Krypton, but he does not come alone. Both of his parents are along for the ride. And when they arrive, it is more of a medieval version of the dcu that we know yeah things have happened um oh, happened a lot has happened and we are on the cusp of war um this issue is supposed to be a <laughs> a thwarting a a pausing of the war and by the end it, it don't unpause it don't unpause at all um yo because First of all, <laughs> there's there's moves here that I was like, yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing. Because um, you have the various houses. House yes. of L. House of L. Uh, you got the Amazon, Amazons, Amazonians. Right. Uh, whoever came up with the the cloak design for Constantine. Oh, genius. It's just, um, it, just, it perfectly genius. straddles both. It's perfect. It's perfect. Um, you got the House of Storms, mm -hmm. um, which is a kingdom ruled by Black Lightning. Um, Black Lightning has been murdered in this world. Um, and the culprit is one of the elves, as far as we know. Mm -hmm. Could be some other shenanigans happening. Um, but this... Oh, my God. This is so... This is so dope. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way it's... The way that, that thing that happens at the end is drawn and colored is... That's brutal. <laughs> It's amazing. And how much fun did they have drawing the eyes? Oh, they had to. They had to. And can you, okay, can you imagine being her in that moment? Because right? you've been trying like this whole time, but like, no, no. And then you see and you're like, oh man. And with who it was against? Right. You're, what? Right? Yeah, this is Game of Thrones. Oh. But with DC characters. Turned up. Game of Thrones with superpowers. Yeah. Okay. Um,. Leave your dragons at home, kid, because uh, the, the dragon get killed. The dragon will get the dragon will get murdered. <laughs> yeah, murdered dead. Um, and then like, because oh, the way, like with this happening, mm -hmm. and you know, they heard it. Yeah, and so that's why they came in as hot as they did. Just, oh. Yeah, they're trying to war is trying to be prevented because you're going to spill like a lot of blood. Yeah, a, lo a whole lot of people can die. Let's see if we can have cooler heads prevail. Can we just talk? And can we just talk? Wah, wah, wah. Some people don't want to talk. Some people let their actions speak. Mm -hmm. And in terms of what they are saying, oh my god, yeah, the world's gonna get split in half. And yeah, yeah. And I'm still not okay with the the mastermind having that. He should not have that. Like no, like no. That's one of those. It should be written into the very fabric. Of DC, of the you don't DC do multiverse, that. you don't, just do, don't that. do that. You don't give him that because to, for him to have that, there's very few people that have less than him, and <sighs> it's dangerous. It's it's outright dangerous. Um, we've had a number of people killed in this series yes. so far. Is that one the most brutal? Yes, I. 
Especially because who did it? Yeah, yeah. And where? Like, everyone else has kind of been, like, clandestine, like, oh, I've snuck and I've done this. This one was in front of God and everybody. Yeah. And... Like, let there be no mistake. This happened. This happened. This is not even, like, not only did it happen, you did it. Mm -hmm. You, you did this. And... (laughs) It's so visceral. It is. It is. I can smell the meat. There's parts that are probably floating in people's mouths. Like, uh, that's just... Ah! Uh, ah! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Book of the week. Right there. Yeah. With and, a bullet. And they, they need to get this trade paper back to... to immediately. Because this is just please, so good. Please and please. Um. Oh, my God. So good. So absolutely good. Um. We read a lot. We've We've recommended a bunch uh if you like our recommendations mm-hmm. click that thumbs up let us know that you like yep. it maybe put a comment down below and say hey i dug this book you were right it was a great read i should read more of what you guys say because we do say these things when mm-hmm. do we say them every no, i almost said thursday <laughs> it's a little late, it's a little late. <laughs> every wednesday <laughs> every wednesday baby we're here for you um sometimes a, sometimes a thursday mm-hmm. it might have to be a thursday that one time yeah. but if you want to catch it, what should they do? Hit subscribe. Yeah. Click the bell and then go into settings and say, yeah, I would like notifications from YouTube because we do this every week. Every week. Every year. We're here. Yeah. We read. We review. We recommend yep. for you. Black, white, and red all over, guys. See you next week.